Hi there, I'm Apatwani from CoAlias. In this video, I'll explain how to integrate CoAlias with Bubble. We'll go through a sample project and look at the workflows and the actions that are needed to set up CoAlias. This is the CoAlias plugin docs sample app. So this sample app shows us the UI that's needed and the workflows that are needed to get things done. So what we'll do is we'll open the editor. And once we open the editor, we'll see that uh, we can uh, start inspecting the workflow. So let's inspect the connect do uh, domain workflow. And once you open that, you'll see that there are a couple of actions here. So the first action is domain add. So what we're doing here is we're adding the domain value. So this could be like domain.com or sub.domain.com. Also, if users enter like a URL, we will clean that up and use it. Um, and this action adds the domain to your CoAlias account. So once that uh, domain is, has been added to the CoAlias account, you can of course create a domain thing uh, where you can store uh, the domain in your own system so you know it's been added. So what I would recommend is uh, this step, uh, this action, domain add, uh, returns domain name. So that sanitizes the domain, uh, removes any HTTPS, etc., or URL parameters from it. So use that to save it. And then there are two important values. Every domain has like a domain configuration uh, and a stage is if it's set up correctly or not. And the other thing is sometimes in like 1% of the cases, the domain needs verification before it can be added. And that contains that value. So normally you will only be adding uh, an IP address to your DNS. Um, and we will only do that if there's no error return. So there are, of course, a couple of actions. You have domain add. We have also domain add or check. If you use that action, it will always, uh, it won't return an error, but it will return the state. But I will normally recommend to use add because that will prevent you from adding domains that are already added to the system. And you can use that to uh, prevent uh, multiple users from owning a domain. After that, we can assign that domain to a user, but you can also assign that to an account or something else. And I'm using here a custom event where I will configure the domain. You can also, also do that within that same workflow. That custom event is a config domain. So what, what we're doing here basically is we're uh, configuring a domain, uh, we're saying source star, that means every traffic uh, that comes to the website and that isn't linked to already an existing page should be handled by this route. And then I'm directing that traffic to version test slash landing place slash the domain. Uh, and that will be loaded. Uh, we can also, of course, uh, uh, do things like uh, version live, but you don't need version live. You can just then just do like landing page slash slug. And uh, here you have uh, the type. Uh, leave it to auto unless you really want to do specific things. So uh, we'll detect that it's a bubble website and look at it. Does it need to be rendered server side or client side? And configure the domain to be rendered correctly. And uh, once that is done, you can optionally add meta tags to that. So uh, you can configure how the site looks in various uh, search engines and socials. Uh, also here, the source is uh, slash stars, uh, uh, forward slash stars. So that means that all pages will have this metadata. You can, of course, create multiple rules for specific pages. And lastly, uh, in this workflow, we're customizing robots.txt because we want the search engines to not uh, index anything except the landing page. So yeah, we can, uh, uh, of course, uh, do that as well. Oh, I already see that I made a mistake. So, um, oh no, I didn't make a mistake. So that, that way we can 
of course set up the robot txt as we want but this is optional so if you don't want this just remove it mm, once a domain has been added uh, we go to the next process and that's that the user needs to configure their dns records so on this page you'll see uh, uh, that the user needs to add a certain record uh, and we'll go to that workflow here. Um, so I'm getting that from um, this group. So the check uh, domain group, I'm calling uh, a data action, get domain, and that will get the information that's needed for the user to set it up. Uh, we have a, re uh, a value here that's called misconfigured. So if that's true, uh, something needs to be done if that's false the domain is co correctly configured um, so we uh, use the negative uh, uh, for this value and we use a positive for all the other values so dns configured that's this record here and then we can say okay we want the record type so that's the a record uh, the record name so that's in this case it's an add but sometimes if it's a subdomain it will extract the name from it uh, and the record value so that's the IP address so it's a smart system uh, and if a verification is needed so I'm here checking is it verified and I'm hiding it but if it's not verified uh, yeah you, you'll need to set those records so similar to DNS records but this will be a T TXT record and lastly if the domain is connected we're done and if you want to disconnect it, you just delete the domain and all associated metadata, robot.txt, etc. are removed as well. So it's a very easy way of doing that. And uh, when we go to the landing page, so that's where it's directed to, yeah, we can, be, uh, what I did is I added a co-alias element to that. And that co-alias element uh, has various options, but one of the things it has like the host name, so you can get the host name. If you want the only subdomain, you can get that as well, the URL, etc. So it has multiple options, but most people just use the host name. Uh, and of course, yeah, uh, this is one of the ways uh, of doing that. Uh, and you can uh, load the domain uh, by using the host name. Or, uh, of course, you can also use like just another slug and then just load it. So there are various ways of doing it. I'm using domain here and I'm uh, using the domain name to get the right uh, uh, domain loaded. So that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, just hit me up on the chat or book a setup session. I look forward to helping you integrate Co-Alias. Talk to you soon, Abadwani, co-alias.